Hey guys, we are going to be looking at the converse of the Pythagorean theorem today. We are going to answer the question, how do I use the Pythagorean theorem to determine if a triangle is right or not? To determine that, we use the Pythagorean theorem converse. And this is the Pythagorean theorem converse. If a squared plus b squared is true, then the triangle is a right triangle. So to do that, we substitute in a, b, and c into our formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Make sure you use the smaller two values for a and b, those are the legs, and the larger value for c. They won't always have the numbers written in order, so you're always going to put the larger one in for c and then the smaller two values in for a and b. Then, if your statement is true, Basically, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then it is a right triangle. So if you do a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and it's true, that is a right triangle. And then if the statement is false, basically if the formula does not work, then it is not a right triangle. So let's test that out. On these first few examples, we're going to determine if the triangles below are right triangles. And on these ones, it's kind of easier to tell which ones are C, the hypotenuse, and the shorter two sides will be A and B. So we're gonna start with our formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And I'm going to plug in seven for A, 24 for B and 25 for C. And now I'm going to see, will seven squared plus 24 squared equal 25 squared? So I'm just going to put it into my calculator. Seven squared plus 24 squared is 625. And 25 squared is also 625. So since this statement is true, yes, it is a right triangle. All right, let's look at the next one. I'm gonna let my two smaller sides of 3.5 and 4.5 be A and B, and then six will be C. I'm going to plug these into the Pythagorean theorem to see if this triangle is right or not. So I'm gonna do 3.5 squared plus 4.5 squared equals six squared. So let's do each side of the equation at a time. 3.5 squared plus 4.5 squared is 32.5. And six squared is 36. They're close, but they're not exact. So this one would be no, it is not a right triangle. Okay, last one with the triangle drawn, my two shorter sides are six and 12. Those will be A and B, a 13 is longest side, so I'll let that be C. Now I'm going to substitute into my formula and see if this is a right triangle. So I'm gonna see if six squared plus 12 squared is equivalent to 13 squared. So six squared plus 12 squared is 180. And 13 squared is 169. So again, they're close, but they're not exact. So since the formula does not work, this one's no. It is not a right triangle. All right, let's look at number four. Could the three sides below represent a right triangle? So I know that if the Pythagorean theorem works, that it will be a right triangle. So I need to plug it in. Let's talk about what to plug in where. Remember, C is always the longest side. And the longest side here would be 12. And then seven and 10 will be A and B. So I'm gonna do seven squared plus 10 squared 
and see if I get 12 squared. So 7 squared plus 10 squared is 149. And 12 squared is 144. Those are not the same. So this would be no, it's not a right triangle. All right, number five, which of the following side lengths could not represent a right triangle? So that means I'm looking for three side lengths where a squared plus b squared does not equal c squared. If it equals, it means it is a right triangle, but I'm looking for the one that is not a right triangle. So let's go through and test these out. On the first answer choice, 25 would be c squared. So I'm going to do 7 squared plus 24 squared, and I get 625. And I want to see if it equals c squared, which is 25 squared, 625. So this one works, that cannot be my answer choice because I'm looking for the one that's not a right triangle. Let's try B, I have six, eight, and 10. 10 will be C since that's the longest side. So I'm gonna do six squared plus eight squared and I get 100. And I wanna see, does it equal 10 squared or C squared? Yes, it does. So this is not our answer because again, I'm looking for the one that does not represent a right triangle. Okay, on C, I have 5, 5, and 10. I'm going to let 10 be C since that's the longest side. So 5 squared plus 5 squared is 50, and 10 squared is 100. These do not equal each other, so this is probably my answer. Let's verify by checking D. On D, I have 5, 12, and 13. 13 is my longest side, so that's going to be C. So I'm going to do 5 squared plus 12 squared, and I get 169. And 13 squared is also 169. So since this is a right triangle, it's not my answer choice. C was the only one that was not a right triangle. All right, number six, which of the following triangles are right triangles? So this time I do want a squared plus b squared to equal c squared because I'm looking for a right triangle. So let's go through and test them out just like we did last time. I'm gonna do seven squared plus three squared and I get 58 and 21 squared is 441. So triangle A does not follow the Pythagorean theorem, so that is definitely not a right triangle. Let's try B. I have 20, 21, 29. 29 is the longest, so I'm going to do 20 squared plus 21 squared, and I get 841. And 29 squared is also 841 not 44, 41. So B is a right triangle. All right, we have two more to test out. Triangle C, I'm going to do 6 squared plus 8 squared, and I get 100, and 10 squared is also 100. So we have another right triangle. And the last one, I'm going to do 6 squared plus 4 squared, which is 52, and 10 squared is 100. Those do not equal each other, so D is not a right triangle. So the question originally said, which of the following triangles are right triangles? It would be triangles B and C are right. Okay, number seven. Mike has three slabs of wood. They are 30 inches, 40 inches, and 50 inches. Will he be able to arrange them in a right triangle? Why or why not? So to determine if something is a right triangle, we use the Pythagorean theorem. And I have 30, 40, and 50. 30 and 40 will be A and B because those are the shorter lengths, and 50 would be C because it's the longest one. So I'm going to plug it in 
30 squared plus 40 squared equals 50 squared. 30 squared plus 40 squared is 2,500. And 50 squared is 2,500 as well. So will he be able to arrange them in a right triangle? Yes, because the Pythagorean theorem worked. Okay, number eight. Three squares and their areas are shown below. Could they be positioned to form a right triangle? Why or why not? So again, we're trying to prove if something is a right triangle, so I'm gonna have to plug into the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Before I do that, I want you to look at what they gave us. They gave us the areas, and if you notice, my units are squared. So that means that the numbers are already squared. These are areas, so the numbers are already squared. So that means when I plug into Pythagorean theorem, I don't have to do the squared. They are already squared. You can see with the inches squared. So all I need to do now is identify which ones are A, B, and C. This is my smallest one, so I'm gonna have it be A squared, B squared, and 39 is the biggest, so that'll be C squared. So now I just plug into my formula. Instead of putting 12 squared, I'm just gonna put 12, because 12 is already the squared number. And then B squared is 22, and C squared is 39. And 12 plus 22 is 34, and 34 does not equal 39. So the question said, could they be positioned to form a right triangle? No, because the Pythagorean theorem did not work.